Hello my darlings, and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the Bramblewood area once again today, back at Haddon Hall. Last time we furnished the Great Hall area and put in some stairs up to the next level. We also furnished the Butler's Suite area, the wine cellar in the basement. And I showed you what I did off of camera with the antique room, the informal dining room, and also the library. Today, what we're going to be cracking on with is Lady Hillary's bedroom itself, and also the top level of Haddon Hall. So let's get into game and make a start. Well, happy Wednesday, my loves, and welcome back once again to Let's Build the World. And welcome back to Haddon Hall. Here we are. Here we are at Haddon Hall. This is Haddon Hall. We've been building this for quite a while now. I reckon we're going to complete this next week. I really, really do. And we are going to be moving on to the pub lot next week. I think it's important to have a community venue for storyline purposes and stuff. So I am going to be making the pub next week. And we'll probably start that. Because what I'm thinking, what we're going to be doing today is Lady Hillary's bedroom, of course. But it's just going to be this one over here. And I think I'm going to do some kind of mini dressing room in this corner. I think that's the perfect place for it. Do need to put a fireplace in here as well. Um, I might move the door. I might move this door over to here. Just so we've got enough room. I mean, there's a huge room anyway. But enough room to be able to put the bed in a lovely place. So I think that's what I want to do. And we are also going up the priest hole if you will. And we're going to be doing up here as well. You lovelies had some really nice ideas and I especially liked the one of making this into a bit of an art room. I kind of feel that vibe. A lovely little art room here and then having this like area here as somewhere much like the basement level where they hide their treasures. I kind of feel that. I really do like that idea of having it up here. I think that's what I want to do. And then out on the balcony area here, I want to do some kind of area where there's lots of lovely plants, maybe a, few, a bit of an area to sit down and maybe a telescope and stuff up here as well. I think that's what I want to do. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on today. And then next week, what I'm going to do is maybe furnish a couple of the bedrooms off of camera and then we'll finish off with the last couple bedrooms. I think we'll do the two teen bedrooms. So I'll do a spare bedroom and then I'll also do Elizabeth's room, which is going to look a bit like she's, well, she's not living there anymore. So that's what I want to get to kind of look like. Some boxes, maybe stuff from her teen kind of years, even though she has moved back into the house for now. I kind of feel that kind of vibe. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Aiden, sort your posture out. I got towed off by my chiropractor because I'm not using my chair properly. Um, I've got another appointment with him tomorrow. I don't know why I need to tell you this, but sometimes it's just nice to have these kind of conversations, isn't it? And today, that is the case. So I am going to my chiropractor again tomorrow, everybody. I've just, I just wanted you to know, all right? <laughs> anyway, fireplace. I think we're going to stick with the same fireplaces that we have been using for the majority of the house, and it's these ones. Um, especially in the bigger rooms. I may do some fireplaces in the smaller rooms because we have put chimneys here. So I might do some smaller ones in the boys' rooms. Oh, we need to put brick on that for a start. Let's do that. Uh, so that is probably what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. So we've got a dressing room moment there now. I'm thinking probably just putting an arch in there. Um, so I'm going to go for maybe an, an actual arch like this. But I want it to look a little bit more fancier. Let me have a little look at you. Oh, I think that would work, actually. And I think what we could also do here is maybe add some curtains up on this point. We have got those base game ones, haven't we? These ones here. That would work marvellously there. Oh, I kind of... Do I like them on the outside or should I put them on the inside? Let's have a look. I think I prefer them on the outside. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Put them on the outside. That colour is fine because I am going to be using the same curtains throughout this whole house. So I'm not going to be like sort of branching off into different colours and stuff of this house. I don't think it needs it. I like the way that this is looking very kind of brown and mannerly. Um, we'll play around with other colours in other houses, don't worry. But I think this is just more realistic this way. So, as I said, I do want to change where this door is. I'm going to plop you to here, which in turn is going to make me want to do something over here. But we'll figure that out, don't you worry. It doesn't need to be anything too dramatic, maybe even like a hall table there. Because we have got access down to this level here now. I hate looking at those stairs like this, the dark. Oh, but 
sims what more can be said so we now need a bed i mean je ne sais quoi is all i can say to that and i'm gonna put this one in i think that's absolutely perfect again a bed that looks like it's probably always been here yeah that's very nice that fits in this room gorgeously actually and i think with the side tables i want to use either this one or go for the bit more of the shinier aspect one this one here let me have a look what i think would work better do you know what for a change i'm going to use this one here even though these side tables are the size of a block of apartments we're still going to put them in anyway this room can handle it it's a very big room so um bob's your uncle and fanny is your absolute aunt to be honest loves um you'll be all pleased May maybe not pleased well no a lot of you were keen on it i am i have booked my first hiking expedition next month so look forward to a little hiking vlog coming on my new channel new channel's not ready yet i will make sure to link it to everybody once it is ready um i've just got the, the wonderful um one of my wonderful friends who is going to be doing the channel art for me so it's all coming together darlings it really is i really want to get in what would these look like in here uh, i don't know actually i kind of like that let me see if we can get these in again having some kind of like influence from another country i think really works in these kind of houses you do find that quite often they've got like pieces um antiques from other lands so i'm thinking we're gonna do that i think we also need to get a little cheeky ottoman down at the bottom here and this one here would probably suffice but i just that's very medieval i think we need to go a little bit more fancier with it maybe just brighten up the color a little bit there we go that's perfect yes and then flop you into the side or at the edge of the bed there like that oh that's marvelous yes oh I'm into it. What ceiling did we do in here? We did the um, wooden ceiling. Okay. Definitely needs a rug here. I think we should go for a big rug. Ooh, let's go for this base game or not. I always forget about this one here. Let's go for this one. And scale it up though. I think it needs to be scaled up quite a bit. Maybe like a 1.5 actually. Let me have a little look at you. Yeah, I think that could work. And then what I'm going to do is just flop it. Do I want to put it right under the bed like that? Or do we want to bring it out a little bit further towards the end? Just for a look. I think it needs to be right under. Right under the bed. And then your feet are all nice and warm when you get out of the bed, isn't it? I have had all my windows open. Oh, it's I can feel spring in the air. It's still quite cold. It's only 8 degrees Celsius. So my house is absolutely freezing at the minute. But I do love a bit of... Is it Lufton? Lufton. It's a German word, isn't it? For when you open your windows and like get all the farts out. <laughs> <laughs> not that i fart either because you as we all know i am a homosexual and um we don't fart we um <laughs> no i'm not saying that we're moving on but um yeah got all my windows open not that one in my office though because people will outside will um hear me talking to a camera and we don't want that well do we no we don't actually no absolutely not yeah i think this is the perfect area for a little hall table in there um even a desk in this room do you know what i'm gonna put a desk in here i could probably get that somewhere else what would you look like over by the entrance to the uh little dressing area there do you know what i'm gonna do that yeah, we're gonna flop you there my love oh a couple of seats as well in front of the fireplace but i'm feeling a desk coming on in here I'm not going to put any kind of PC or anything on top of it. I just think a nice low level desk would look marvellous. And I've got one in my head. It's just popped in and I think it's going to be the correct one to go for. And I cannot say it. As we're not putting a TV, as we're not putting a computer on top of it, this one here is going to work. Yes, I like that one. I love this desk. I just hate using it because of this like cut out here. The PC and whatever you're using hangs out over the edge and I can't bear it. I really cannot bear it. I don't think we need like a rolly um, chair. But what we could use actually is either this one. Oh, let's grab both of them. We'll grab the tranquil chair, which I think would look really nice in here. But because we've gone a bit more goth with the bed or gothic, this one here could... Oh, yeah, that one. Goodbye. You're lovely, but goodbye. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I do like that indeed. Very much into the window there. We'll get some trinkety bits for on top of there as well. Definitely needs some kind of sconce in here as well. So I am going to bring 
what we've used throughout the whole house. I would imagine back in the day these were obviously like gas lit and then even before that torch lit, you know? But for now, they've got electricity. <laughs> for now. I might take it away, you never know. I feel we need a nice picture up here and I'm getting very bored of all the paintings because none of them really match in with the vibe we're going for. So let's see if I can find something newish. Ooh, these sides are really nice. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to flop you to there like that, my darling. Oh, you look marvellous in here. I don't think I've ever tried to size them up before. I could be lying, but I think it it works really nicely in here. I think it was better that height, yes. Yes, indeed. Some kind of, as I said, some kind of chair in front of it. I think a chair and a side table would suffice. Ooh, and I'm going to use the side table we didn't get to use for the bedside. I think that could work. But what I'd probably have to do is find a good orientation to put this in, which is going to be quite difficult because chair, desk, you know? Let's see what we can do. I could probably... Oh, no, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, I don't want the desk to go anywhere else. Unless I move the desk up one here. I could put a plant there, actually. I've purposely not used a lot of plants in this house as well. I just... I don't think it's the house for plants. Apart from out in the, um, the greenhouse and whatnot. Let's see if we can flop that down to there. Oh, actually, I do kind of like that. Yeah, plant there. And I think we should also add another lamp here as well. And I think I want to go for something a little bit more classic looking. We're going to go for this one here. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, I do like that. I do. I'm not keen on the orientation of where it is, but I'm still going to use it anyway. Unless I swap over the chair and put this on this side. Would that make me feel any better? Not really. No. Unless I go just straight towards the fire like this. No. <laughs> no, I did. I did prefer it in that orientation there. Yeah, lovely. Okay. So, as I said, a nice plant for this corner as well. It needs to be kind of a big boy, to be honest with you. Nothing too modern looking. Just a nice classic plant. So, maybe even that base game one, this one here, would work well in this room. Uh, I don't really like that in here. Oh, I kind of like this one, though. Yeah, that works. I'm wondering if I could tone that, uh, the actual plant pot colour down, though, because it's a little bit bright for in here. There we go, it's better. Yes, I like that. Okay, I'm going to use the same lamp on top of the desk that we've used everywhere else because it just matches in gorgeously. It really does. Flop you up to there, my darling. And I think what I want to put here are a pile of letters. Now, these pile of letters are bills and debts that the um, late Lord um, kept secret from his wife so she's in a little bit of turmoil with this i mean they're not exactly short for money but we don't know how much those bills are and debts from various things that we'll go into the further we get in to this say file thank you yeah something like that so that's what she's looking through there we definitely need to get in some some fireside stuff so pokers and firewood you over to this side oh i would have loved actually to get a radiator in here as well that being said i'm going to get rid of you and we're going to flop in a radiator into this room and i'm going to use this one here but i'm going to darken it down i think oh i'd never know where to put these there we go pop you there bipty bopty bow like that and then we are going to color this into the black i think there we are oh that's stunning yes very much vibing with that i really am Tell you what I'm not vibing with though is the, what, the placement of this. I really don't like it, but I'm just going to keep it there anyway. I can't, it's, it's how they decorated. I can't be the one to judge. Well, I can and I'll judge harshly, but we're going to leave it like that. We are going to go ahead now and get in a, a wardrobe. I'm going to try and get a chest of drawers in here as well, but I just, I'm a bit worried about that. I'm going to go for a little bit more of a fancier. Why am I clicking every room apart from the bedroom? I do that all the time. Um, I'm going to go for a little bit more of a fancier wardrobe. So maybe, actually, the one from Vampires would probably be best. We're not going to be able to get a chest of drawers in here as well. No. So what I'm going to do, flop you to there. Push you into the corner as far as I can. And then I would like a standalone mirror. This one, preferably. 
but oh no do you know what that will work there actually yeah oh oh i'm full of that i really am i mean i would put a painting on top here but it's above like above a radiator it could burn it away oh oh <laughs> oh no can i do this i do like that i do like that indeed unless we bring this over to here get a smaller one because i don't think can you hear daisy honestly just because she's the birthday girl <laughs> she's barking away out there with tom uh yeah i'm gonna i want this mirror here now i think that would work a lot better oh yes it does look at that i'm very much for that and then what i can do is just put the wardrobe just here lovely but we probably need to add some lights in here so i think i'm going to use those sconces and do one either side i think that's equal is it i can't tell let me see i'm peeking behind the curtain yep yeah, that's equal stunning yeah oh oh she's going to be made up with this room she really is i'm going to try this let me just try something else a minute let me just, that's really annoying me yeah, it was annoying me that much that I took it away from the fireplace. And I put it over in this corner here. I think that looks a lot better. I also shifted around the desk. Um, I just think that flows a little bit better in here then. Yes, I'm into that. Absolutely into that room. I think it's perfect. Well, there you are, Lady Hillary. You have got your own bedroom. What a treat. So we're now going to move up to here. And I think where we're going to make a start is probably on this area here because it's kind of... It's going to be a bit nondescript, really, um, because I don't really know what I want to put in here. And I might even maneuver the roof and put the roof on this side instead and make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to have to drag this across now to meet that. So we go to there. I mean, it makes a lot more sense to have this above the art room. I will sort out that light, don't you worry? Yeah. And then you get a little bit more of, yeah, that's better, isn't it? And this is darker. Do you know what we could maybe fit in here? It's one of those safes. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, it does. It fits in. And it's a vault, not a safe. I said safe. Um, I think I want to do this. Yes, let's do this. And then what I'm going to do is... Can I do this with this one? Is, that, is this incorrect? No, I think that's incorrect, Aiden. I think that is just a standalone piece. Okay, but what I am going to do is maybe bring the wall up to here like that just so it kind of nestles into the edge there I don't really want to drag that backwards do I or I could I could absolutely drag this back rather than having it that big let me see it's got brick on the outside there yeah that's fine oh we'll do that then that's better lovely so the family jewels and stuff in there I would imagine I'll make sure to go and load that up with money and maybe just a few like antique pieces and stuff in here would be nice. I'm not going to put any light in here. I think it would be a lot more atmospheric if we don't actually light up this place. Rather, other than the art room itself. Let's do that. So let me pull out a few bits that I just think would work well here. Lots of treasures. So the lost necklace of Princess... What was it called again? Princess Cordelia or something? Late Duchess Pinky. Okay, that one. Stolen necklace, but we'll just say lost. Um, lots of Ming Dynasty vases. Um, each worth a, a pretty amount of money that they keep in here. I'm also going to change this door as well. It doesn't feel very secure to me. It really doesn't. So we're just going to lay these all out. I think we should probably just put them around the outskirts or the edges of the room. Some very famous paintings that were maybe stolen by their ancestors and they can't display them. But it is part of the estate and it stays here in secret. A globe for, from Sir, Fran Sir Francis Drake. <laughs> um, who actually, I think he's like a, not like a local hero to Plymouth. Because he was an absolute awful person. But he was a definite historic um figure shall we say but he did very much questionable awful things um just putting that out there and i think maybe i could grab another one of these pedestals i can't remember where i used them oh in here roman pedestal from the roman times and then what i'm gonna do 
Let's plop that one to there and put that head on it. That gold head. It always reminds me of that um, children's TV program, Art Attack. Does anybody remember that with their talking head? I still love that program, I did. Um, and I'm going to use the same, the door of perception here as well, which is going to be locked. Uh, and then we could do some kind of like seating area just to make this look like it has got, like you can get books from it. What if you, can you use this as a library? I have no idea. No idea. So I think what we're going to do is do a lovely little art room now. So let me grab out some trinkety bits. So we've got our canvases. I'm going to flop that right into the edge of the wall there. I think that's the perfect spot for the easel. I'm going to get the artist tabaret out, put it right there. And this room is screaming out for some plantage. I think lots of lovely plants in here would really, really bring this together because it's got that lovely skylight now. I think that would really work. And talking of skylights, we're going to get you on now, my darling. And I'm going to go into the fences. Let's use a black one. Bring you all the way along like that. Are you going to do anything weird? No? Nope. Okay. And then I'm going to... Well, we're not going to do that for a start. We're going to grab you to there and do you a little tap tap like that, sweetheart. And then what you will do is have a bit of a join at the top that I'm in the wrong place, for goodness sake. There we go. She's back. Yeah. Happy with that. Oh. Oh, I'm for it indeed. I think maybe a shares long in this area. Very arty, that. So I think what I want to do um, is bring in, obviously, the one from Vampires. We haven't really got any... We didn't. We haven't had any really, like, any more chaise longs, have we? And I do love a chaise long. Very much do. A fainting couch. <laughs> I would have loved to have been back in that period just to dramatically faint on one of these. Just for, like, you know, shits, tits and giggles, to be honest. Yeah, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I just need to keep it straight for once in my life. <laughs> um, if I can pop you into there. I think that colourway is fine up here as well. And then that kind of makes this look like it, it belongs here as a bookcase. So you can sit and read and stuff, you know. Maybe we should do a lamp by it as well then, if that's the case. I think maybe going for a classic looking one or even this one. I've not got to use this yet. I've got a really similar lamp to this at home which I really don't like anymore. I kind of like, you know when you buy something and because you really like it and you just fall out of love like with the style of it? I'm like that with that lamp. And also my living room lights, I don't like them anymore either. That happens a lot. Anyway, waffling on. We've had a lot of waffling today, haven't we? Plants. We want lots of plants in here. There. Just a nice bit of drama. I've put some wall plants up on the walls there as well. I think that works really nicely. There's more plants around this side. I did shuffle the door along a little bit too. Uh, but what I think we need up here is a very old battered rug. And I would like to use the one that came with werewolves. Um, and maybe go for a bit more of a richer tone with this one. and Size it up. Oh, that one works here, actually. I can use you then. and Scale you up to a 1.3. Maybe a 1.5, actually. Now I've done it. 1.5. There we go, my love. Oh, she's stunning. And then what I'm going to do is just whiffle it in a little bit more central like that. Oh, I'm for it. Yeah, lovely little room here to do some painting in. I do feel that it needs some kind of maybe radio up here, but I just haven't got any surface really to put it on. Can you go on half walls? Of course you can. Don't be so daft, Aiden. What I could do, though, is balance it maybe on top of the canvas stacks themselves. Oh, it fits there perfectly. Oh, beautiful. Well, there you go. One little cheeky art room. And one secret family vault as well. Oh, I need to move those canvases, though. They're not going to be able to get in, Aiden. Um, I might have to shuffle that door along just a little bit more. Like that. Just hoping that plant's not going to block it. That's what I'm a bit worried about. We'll play a test it and make sure. That's better. Okay. Stunning. Ta-da. Now onto the balcony. I'm going to pull out some bits and bobs. I've also pulled out these here. Uh, these little flower planters and I've put some of these around on the front as well I just thought they really looked nice so I bought some out for the front area too again organically building darlings organically indeed well here we go this is a lovely big area so I think we could add in quite a nice substantial size seating area so I'm thinking maybe having the seating area over here 
I want to I want to use these benches. I tried some of the wooden benches and I thought I want to look make it look like it's going to be a little bit more comfortable, you know, like they'd actually come up here on a summer's evening or something. So I'm going to put in these ones. I'm going to move you back to there. I'm going to put the fire crackling table next to them like that. Yes, and then that's going to give us enough room to have to put in the telescope as well. Um, what way should I put it? I think it should like go over that kind of way. I think that would be marvellous. Let's have a little look. What are you going to look at over there? Oh yes, the waterfall, everything. Oh, look at that lighting. I love it. Yeah, very nice. Just very simple. That's all I wanted, really. And I wanted to get a few of these out, I think. But I am going to size them down. Almost. Ah, yeah, let's put one here as well. I'm going to pop one of you there. And I'm going to do another one over in this corner. And I did pull out these. These like little round bushes. But I'm unsure if it needs up here. I don't think it does actually. I don't think it does at all. And I think I'm going to put in this one. Just in front of that little window there. Which gives us enough room. To add a little picnic bench. I think I want to add a picnic bench. With a, maybe a parasol. On top of the roof line. Yeah. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to tilt you out a jante like that. And I'm going to bring out a little barbecue here as well. Barbecue on the roof. Why not? You know? So I'd probably want to go for not the big, big ones. But some, yeah, maybe even this one here would be fine. So it looks like they can wheel it away when it's raining or at least cover it with a tarp. I think that would suffice quite nicely. Yeah, that's a nice little area there. I'm absolutely vibing with that. I really am. Oh! Yeah, that's cute. Very nice indeed. So we got a nice bit done today. We really did. This whole area is done up here. I think this is going to be fun for gameplay and stuff as well. I'll make sure to put a, quite a bit of money in there. So it's got all of the bits and bobs. like Because it pops up with like necklaces and stuff, doesn't it? When you put money in there. So I think that's what I want to do. And we got Lady Hillary's room done as well. Very nice indeed. So, as I said, I'll be back with this for the final part on Tuesday. And we're going to do both of the teen bedrooms. That's what I want to do. I'm going to do Elizabeth's bedroom, which is probably going to be this bigger one, actually. Um, Elizabeth's bedroom off of camera and also the little guest suite off of camera as well. And we're going to do something a little bit different. You know, how you normally go around with Let's Build the Worlds and just do a tour with me kind of talking and pointing you through everything. I'm going to put together each of the builds. I'm going to do a little video and stuff so you can see everything in gameplay quite nicely. That's the way I want to make this series stand out a little from the rest of them. So, and you might even spot some mysterious secrets in those video tours. So just keep your beady eyes open as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to leave you now. I'll be back tomorrow with a starter home. We are in the world of Del Sol Valley making a starter home tomorrow. And we're going to go about it a little bit differently with this one, but I'm not going to spoil anything. You'll have to just stay tuned. But that's it. Leave me some lovely comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.